on you guys it's your boy alex west collects here bringing you another figure review and today we are taking a look at the wwe mattel elite greatest hits series one which is now shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com as always don't forget to use promo code for life it'll save you 10 percent off your order at checkout save a few bucks use the promo code and get this great set so I will say, the Greatest Hit series, something uh, that we have kind of seen before from Mattel. If you remember, they had the Best Of uh, very early on. I remember it was like the Best Of 2010, I want to say. I don't remember, but it was like Triple H, Ray, and Taker came that set. Or maybe it was Kane. Again, it was just so long ago. Or you're talking over 10 years. Um, but, you know, it's nice that they're bringing this back and giving, you know, new collectors a chance to grab uh, some hard-to-find elites, you know, and... I, I don't really know the format of it yet. I, I'm not sure if, you know, they're limited to just the Elite Series. Obviously, Bam Bam, this figure is a Legends figure. I think it was Legends Series 5. Forgive me if I'm wrong. Again, numbers, I, like I said, I have a 9-month-old, so I don't sleep much. I don't really remember things like used to uh, getting a little up there in age, unfortunately. But, uh, again, Legends Series. This was a Walmart Series. So, I, I guess there's no limitations. It just has to, I guess, fit the budget. So, it makes me wonder... Can we see Defining Moments figures, or would that be something that's too costly? Like, I would love to see a, a Defining Moments of Bret Hart thrown in this line. So the verdict is still out. Um, I, we really don't know the format of what they're picking, but I do know that Steve said that this will be a limited type thing where they do, they do I think it's only one series a year. So I think this is probably for, for this year. Maybe they'll do one more next year and I guess see how it goes, but it is slated to continue. Um, but we, again, we, we just don't know exactly what we're getting per se quite yet. But, you know, bam, these are figures I will say before we even get into the review. I have, I've had all of these figures. They've come and gone, gone through my collection because, you know, they're cool at one point. You get a better version of them. But now they're plussed up. So, mind you, these are older figures being re-released. But they do have the pluses of Mattel's current technology today. So, You'll have the true effects for the most part. I know some of them may not quite have, but you will have the double jointed pinless elbows, the interchangeable hands. Again, a lot of these figures were either, you know, like the Jake was a very hard to find at Walmart, didn't really hit retail. Um, the Legends figures, you know, again, were quite some time ago. So it's good to see them coming out, but let's take a look at the packaging. You do see it's a standard Elite packaging that we uh, have for this current year. But on the top, you'll see the little um, sign here for the greatest hits on the top. So it will differentiate from just a regular Elite series. And it's a standard packaging you'll get. So you'll have the image of the wrestlers on the front. You'll have the nameplate on the side. You see the little greatest hits up here on the side too. Flipping over to the other side, you get the beautiful images of Jake and Bam Bam. Again, greatest here, hits uh, on the bottom here. I do like how it's really laid out. So it's really hard to miss um, and see what series it's from. On the back, you got the beautiful images as well as the Rita for each superstar. The other figures in the wave, let's come back and look at Jake and Bam Bam out of their packaging. Up first, we are taking a look at Jake the Snake Roberts. So this is based on the Walmart flashback series, Build a Figure uh, Commissioner Shawn Michaels. It was very hard to come by. Even the Commissioner Shawn Michaels today goes for our, a ridiculous amount of money on the secondary market. The distribution on this set itself was awful. I was lucky enough to score my Jake, the Elite one, the original one, um, which I no longer have in my collection, from Walmart.com. I just happened to check the app. He was in stock. I ordered it, got it shipped to my doorstep, and that was the end of that. Uh, again, and this is a very different era of Jake. I feel like we've gotten so many Jake the Snakes, uh, even this past year or two, uh, from the Legends line. We have the Legends 13, Legends 8. Um, so this version is something a little later in his run, kind of when he uh, fought Stone Cold at uh, 96 King of the Ring, but... The accessories he does come with are a set of fisted hands. He does come with the yellow snake, uh, as well as his vest, which is not removable. I will say in comparison to the original release, I feel like this head sits a little high on the neck. It just, I don't, I know for a fact that the original version did not have that issue. Again, I don't have that in my collection any longer. I, I just felt like this, these versions that were coming out were going to be superior and it's, Again, real estate is so important. You know, I'm not a collector uh, by of a completist collector at all by nature. Um, I buy figures I like. I buy figures I, I feel like I need for my collection, but I'm not going to buy them all. I just don't have the space or the money to do that. So when a better version comes out, especially of the same exact figure, to me, like, wow, it's going to have double-jointed pinless elbows, interchangeable hands. I'm going to swap out all my originals. 
and I hate to say that because I know Mattel's gonna kind of use that as the new kind of form factor that they're gonna use to get you know old collectors to buy newer figures because they are better versions of them. But needless to say, I, I really wanted this for my collection, so that's why I got rid of the other one. But the head again does sit a little high, and I don't really like that. I will say that he does come with a double jointed pin on his elbows. You can see the nice detailing on the snake skin of the vest again this does not come off this was in jake was a little bit heavier in his career um he's got the nice snake design going on the back the beautiful like kind of teal blue with the snakes going down his pants again traditional snake skin boots looks really great the head skin to me does not have that shoe effects it still looks cartoony and i don't know why they do that i'm i'm sure there's a reason behind it i don't i to me when i when they first introduced the true effects I heard it was supposed to be a cost cutter where, you know, it would save them money where as far as it looks better and it costs less to produce. So I'm curious to see why some elites, when they're redone or heads are reused, uh, especially older ones, they're not given that true effect. So to me, this doesn't look bad, but still kind of looks like the same cartoony Jake. And I'll be honest, I mean, only real plus on this figure is you're getting the double jointed arms, uh, but the head doesn't sit kind of high. So if you have the original version, I'd say stick with that, to be honest. Running through a quick set of Jake comparisons. So on the left, we have the Legend Series 8 Chase version. On the right, we have the Legend Series 13. And you can see this one has the upgraded TrueFX facial technology. We have seen this head before. Um, not quite this attire. There was one in the earlier Legends line with the black uh, tight version. But for some reason, they didn't have that carry over to the Greatest Hits Jake. I did want to see if the height, was there any height difference here? Um, because that figure does sit a little... Or excuse me, the head does sit a little taller on the neck. No, it doesn't look to be the case. Uh, they look to be around the same height. So I did want to point that out for you guys real quick. Next up, we are taking a look at Bam Bam Bigelow. And again, this is based on his Legends 5 figure that was released many moons ago. You know, nowadays we're acclimated to Legends being exclusive to Target. That's where they live. Um, but back in the day when these figures were coming out, they were major retail release. You could get them at Target, Toys R Us. I think Walmart even had them, Ringside Collectibles. I remember grabbing my Bam Bam from Toys R Us, and he was kind of a peg warmer. Um, I remember going into stores and seeing him sitting there on shelves, sitting there on shelves. And I think he was on sale or something when I said, no, what the hell with it? I'm just going to grab it. And something about the jacket just never really spoke to me. I know it looks very toyetic. I never really cared for it. I always remember Bam Bam wearing his flame attire, and that's really what I wanted. And, you know, I ended up grabbing the, there was a Walmart version that came out later down the road. And I just felt that one was superior. That's kind of the attire I remember Bam Bam wearing. And again, I got rid of uh, the Legends figure from my collection, saying I'm only going to have one of each version. Uh, many years later, that is not the case. But let's go through this figure itself. The accessories he does come with are a set of interchangeable mic holding hands. He does have the fisted hands that come on the figure. Again, interchangeable hands were not a thing at the time. You get this amazing jacket, and I know I knocked it earlier, but, you know, it really does have some, like, wow factor to it. You got the nice bright orange and the, the kind of flames going throughout it. You got Bam Bam Bigelow on the back. Just some nice detailing. I will say this feels... It's been a while since I've had that figure in hand, but I remember a lot of these older figures having very heavy jackets... Um, and really making them hard to stand. This feels a little different. So I wonder if the material is swapped out. Um, if you, anyone has that in their collection, let me know. Does, is the jacket really hard? Because this is very soft, very pliable. And this is what I hated about these jackets as well. They peg in from the side. And I feel like once you pop these off from the factory and take it off the figure, uh, you can never get them to sit properly again. But for the review's sake, I'm going to suffer. I'm going to remove it. And here we go. So popping the jacket off. Just pegs out from the side here and it slides right off how clean does that gear look underneath uh but before we even get to that quick one more look over the jacket i don't know to me it's just i feel like the gear itself underneath just looks even better and it's hidden by the by the jacket that's kind of how i feel he also comes with these gauntlets which again also do just pop right off two little pegs here opens nice and easy and again I th the material has to be different because if you guys have like the road warrior figures like any of them uh, or the legends ones excuse me um they were really a pain in the ass to close these seem to close kind of easy and they're really pliable so again i want to say off the top of my head the material is different but looking at bam bam's head scan 
Look how great that looks. My God, the likeness to Bam Bam is so spot on. Absolutely love it. You got the flames going on in the back of the head, of course. You know, something very iconic to Bam Bam Bigelow himself. Just looks really good, man. And again, the orange flames underneath. He's got the tattoos. He's got the double jointed pinless elbows. Like, wow. Without question, I mean, I don't have that figure in hand, but the true FX technology, the double jointed elbows, interchangeable hands. Without question, this is to me better than the Legends 5 figure. And again, I think, you know, the figures are going to take a hit in value. It is what it is. You know, Mattel's re-releasing them, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to want this version versus the original. If you're a mock collector, that's another story. They'll, I think even the mock figures themselves will kind of take a dip in value for just, you know, there, there being another option out there, as, even though it's not a Legends figure. But look at the attire, man. You got the beautiful orange flames going around. Get a close-up of those tats. Just nice detailing. More on the forearm. Looking on the inside of the attire. Going down his pant legs. Got the beautiful flames. Continuing all the way around the back. Got the nice white soles on the boots. Looks really great. And if you guys are curious, he is on the ball joints. But absolutely love how this Bam Bam is looking. And for your Bam Bam comparison, so on the left, we have the most recent Legends figure. And on the right, I think this was a then, now, and forever Walmart exclusive Bam Bam Bigelow. And you can see the difference. So obviously the Legends figure, the head scan does look great. It has a true FX technology. No knock there. Different head scan than it is on the new Greatest Hits Elite. But very similar. We have the Walmart figure. And just look how much of a difference it makes. My God, the true FX versus... Um, more of a cartoony look and look this attire looks great i'm not knocking it i actually got rid of my legends figure for this one because again i said i only wanted one bam bam my collection but man that orange just looks so damn clean this new head scan adds something to it and if you really want to see the difference with the arms so here are the old single jointed ones versus the double jointed elbows and again you also do get the interchangeable hands to me this is a no-brainer is it the best bam bam that's tough because i really love the legends figure but, I mean, it's close. I mean, you can't go wrong. These two are probably, without a doubt, the best ones we've gotten so far. Before we wrap up here in a little bit with some final thoughts, if you guys haven't already, please do me a favor and hit that like and subscribe button down below. For you guys new to the channel, thank you for tuning in, and I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I was able to shed some light and some more information on these figures in hand to kind of give you an idea if it's something you'd like to add to your collection. As far as these figures go, I will say, Jake, if you do have the original, I know a lot of us do not. A lot of people missed out on the original version of this Jake the Snake Roberts figure. Um, but if you do have the original, I don't think it's an upgrade. I don't think you need to go and buy this one. It really is just double jointed arms on pretty much the same figure. It does not have the true FX technology on the head. And the head kind of sits a little high, if you ask me, on the neck peg. Just looks a little too long, a little bit of the giraffe neck sy syndrome. But if you guys really want a version of this Jake the Snake, here you go. Here's your chance to grab it at a great price and not those inflated crazy secondary market prices bam bam bigelow what a home run this figure is it's just it looks so good man the, the, the head scan the gear i'm personally going to display them like this i'm not going to uh use the jacket and that's just a preference i'm not knocking the jacket just i feel like it's too much but i will say i do think they changed the material so um it won't give him that kind of like heavy feel where i know a lot of the older elites kind of suffer from the like the loose ankle peg if you if you do guys remember that with the heavier jackets and they wouldn't stand your display uh that doesn't seem to be the case this figure is phenomenal go buy it this is borderline the best bam bam bigelow figure i'm debating which i like if i like this more than his last legends released it's tough i may give a slight edge because this orange really does pop again these figures are now shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com don't forget to use chrome promo code for life it'll save you 10 percent off your order Follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more great figure content. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll catch you all on the next one.